is episode 13. Yes. I define yeah. where I wrote it on the page. Oof. I'm usually so organized. It's too hot. It's too hot to be organized. Yes. 100%. Just want to sleep all day. Oof. Don't tempt me. <laughs> I, was out. I did get to sleep last night till maybe 2 in the morning. Then I had a nightmare. woke up probably about 3. I was out of bed by like 7. Oof. Mm -hmm. It's part of my it's don't this... sleep till noon. You start work soon. <laughs> yeah, that's the hard part. Is like as you're ready to start a job, it's your body's like, let's just catch up on sleep. It's like, mm, I, I can't, dude. So sorry. Yep. The f the fun part of it is uh, technically I can start working because I have applied for a social security number. Mm -hmm. Um, they basically just have to write zeros in when they file yeah. it, kind of thing. Yeah, because you'll uh, you'll get one, you just don't have one. Yes. Uh, I was supposed to get it two weeks, called the social security office, you're like, no, oh, no, wait two more, then call back. <laughs> Don't call us, we'll like, call you. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, so good to know governments work the same across the planet. Yeah. Oh, Useless it didn't show as up, always. like, maybe two more. Just, mm -hmm. just chill out. Double what, you, double what we told you in the first place. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, Alright, you ready to kick this thing off? Yep. All right, let's start in three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Moon Pier, Boston Rebirth. Of course, as soon as we start recording, the birds are outside chirping. I'm your host, Boston. <laughs> Droning the birds and I, his moon pier. <laughs> Let me close this. Close no beds for me, just kitty cats outside. Yeah. Just, uh, just cook myself in here. Uh, all right. Um, I, I played, uh, f five? dailies this week before my ps4 yes. died <laughs> yes i was curious if you wanted to go into that or not uh, <laughs> i'll try not to cry um it was one of those things where i was i was playing another game oxen free and uh i my daughter woke up i usually play something while she's asleep uh, my daughter woke up so i was like okay it's too hot it's like 95 i'm gonna turn my ps4 off and when she goes to sleep again i'll just pick up on oxen free it turns on for a second, makes a really loud clicking noise, and then turns off completely. Was that immediately Google? Loud clicking noise? Yeah, it, off. it was. And everyone's like, well, you're screwed because your power supply died. You can uh, send it back to Sony and they'll fix it for $150. It's like, well, oh. well I don't think I want to do that because that's like half the cost of a new PS4 and it'll happen again probably. So... Yeah, that seems a. I mean, I was about to say that seems a little over the top, but in order to get my Connect fixed, it's like three hundred dollars. It's like, I, really? I don't even use it anymore. <laughs> I I loved mine though. Yeah, I so do. I still have mine plugged in, but yeah. Mine would be if it worked. I might it's... accidentally come and visit you and then replace them. <laughs> yeah, just swap it. Do out. a little swap out, a little swap out, change yo. <laughs> Unfortunately, Binding of Isaac is not Connect enabled. I don't even know how that would happen uh but I, I i don't remember what our score was by the end of the week yesterday yeah. it was four one uh, okay. which yes four to you one to me you are the home team as always <laughs> yeah. although it's i american sports score like the way things are written i don't get it i yeah. i do get it home team should always come first that's how the english do it Whereas the Americans are visitors at home team. Yeah, it's yeah. I'm not a it's sports guy, so that's always sort of like, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, it, it makes no it makes no sense to me, but yeah. fine, whatever. Have it the way you want it. Right. But yeah, four one and again close close yeah. runs. A couple of the runs this week. Yeah, two or three and days. And again, it's damage bonuses killing me. And yeah. on a couple of days, it was. It's a couple, I think two of them, I just had those runs where you get it, you start it, and then within the first four rooms, you know, this is going to be a terrible run for me. <laughs> I, I, one of mine this week, was it a Maggie? No, it was an Eve run, where I had taken so much damage by the end of the second floor, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to make it past this third floor. Like, I don't, is, is this where I just fail before I even get to mom on this one? Yep, that is the same run where I attempted the 
I think it was that Hush. No, that wasn't Hush. That was July Fourth. Uh, I think the boss rush got me with that Eve run. Yeah. But yeah, I I mean it's always been my downside. I tend to be death before dishonor kind of approach. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we I think you, that's you just mentioned the July Fourth one. We forgot to talk about that. That was um, sad. No, cluster bombs. Uh, epic Dr. fetus. Oh, was it epic? Oh no, it was Doctor Fetus. It was the you spit bombs out. Um, and something else. I don't remember what. Something kind of inconsequential. Um, yeah. I was. Well, it was essentially fireworks display, is what it was. <laughs> I was doing really well on that run up until I picked up from the shop uh, Mom's box of trinkets. Um, mm -hmm. And I kept rolling it, and I got cancer. And I was like, well, let's see what this does. Oh, no. And it was literally a non ending torrent of bombs that blow each other up and so like bombs are bouncing all over the room and this the cluster bombs are bouncing it looked like yes. a bullet hell shooter that i was creating i i made it all the way up to mega satan and died on one of the angels oddly enough <laughs> oh wow yeah uh that run i believe i got done by hushing that run because if memory serves I ended up picking up the the one the mod for it where you launch bombs over, oh, like where yeah. you launch the tears up, and it's like a it's like a lob shot, um, and that ended up just wiping me out. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's not, that's not a just, good combo. I just couldn't get the damage down on Hush because I made it to Hush, which I was proud of. I did Boss Rush, which I was also proud of. I was like, this is good, this is good, but I need to go for Hush because I know Boston's going to get that 9,999 bonus as I, he always does. I didn't on that day, though. I missed uh, I missed Boss Rush, I think it was. I, I think so, yeah, because yeah. I think he got the 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Yeah, I got, I got uh, Hush down because I went in there with like nine hearts and I came out with half a heart. I was just like, the whole time I was like, this is a bad idea. I shouldn't have done this at all. So okay, so you beat me by a half a heart in Hush, basically, because I, I took yeah. him so far down, uh, like he had the smallest amount of health ever, and he still just got me. Did he get you with those think, laser eye beams, the ones that come no, from heaven? No, okay. I think he got me with the splitting red shots. I hate those. <laughs> Because he was firing them at the same time as doing the the tears that tr go from one side of the room through the walls, then out of the other. Oh yeah, the continuum ones. Yeah, he was yeah. hitting them at me, and then there was still a couple of those little red shots, like splitting <sighs> in the middle of the map. Mm-hmm. And that was what eventually got me. And I was kind of hitting myself because it was one of those things where I went in knowing I probably wouldn't survive. Yeah. But I had to take the chance. Yeah. Because. I mean, if I'm going to beat you one week, I need to take the chances, because <laughs> if I don't, then I won't. Well, I mean, thing. that's the rough part about dailies, and I think that's been um, sort of a fair criticism about them ever since the beginning is um, just to stay competitive, you have to do boss rush, and you have to do hush, and you you sort of have to do all of these things. And I I get that that's a criticism, but it's sort of... You know, you have to use all the tools that are given to you, so, I mean... Yeah, definitely. Sort of. I mean, I, I think you might be able to, if you were really, really quick, you might be able to make up some of that score in time bonus. Right. Or time penalty, I should say. Yeah. Like, if you could do it quick enough to the point where you're not getting time penalty, you're getting time bonus instead. Yeah. Maybe that would help, but, I mean, it's there, it's in the game. It's yeah. a way to get extra points, so you know you you kind of have to go for it. I'm not going to complain about it because it's there. So obviously, it takes some some guts to go into those rooms knowing full well what is ahead of you, and there's every chance that you might not make it out. Yeah, I can't remember what run it was. I think it might have been the one I beat you on. Uh, it had Abaddon and Brimstone as the the Devil Deal rooms that I got. Yeah. So I was so happy I managed to get Abaddon and Brimstone because it's like, okay, all of my problems are solved. <laughs> yeah, finishing this run, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Also, didn't realize I don't think Lilith can't take advantage of Brimstone, can she? 
You know, I, I don't know. There was another run... I think it might have just been a random run I was doing this past week. Or it was that Lily run where I picked up... Uh, uh, one of the technologies... Um, and it didn't do anything. I was like, oh, yes. uh, okay. Um, like, some of the stuff doesn't work, and I, I always forget that. Where I'm like, oh, okay, cool, I'll pick up I'll pick up Polyphemus. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, weird. Yep, because the laser tears are your tears and not your familiar tears. Right. Yeah, I think that that cost me with hair because I'm pretty sure that's what I, I spent my health on. Oh, And right. then... It didn't work for me, and then obviously I'm still inexperienced with Lily, so it ended up becoming a case of that lack of health is what ended up costing me yeah. maybe a flaw later when I could have taken an additional five hits. I didn't. <laughs> right. I took three and died. Yeah. But speaking of the random runs, however, shall we talk about my very, very successful week this week? Oh, yes. Okay, so, Spelunker Boy achieved. Ooh, uh, which floor clearing is that? Uh, it's not the first two, it's the second two. Okay. So I believe it's the caves slash underground? Uh, flooded caves? Yes. Yeah. Darkness Boy achieved. Ooh, which one's that? That's the only other one that I didn't have, which is the ones above the uterus. Um, oh, Kath. Uh, not cathedral. The um, necropolis. That's the one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whew, that was way back in the brain. <laughs> it was. I achieved them because I obviously I have unlocked the 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 lost now. Right. I have the holy cradle. Nice. So apparently the is it the holy cradle? Whatever it is. Holy that reduces... mantle. Okay. Yes, that thing. Yeah. That doesn't count as damage if you get hit by it. So, ah, as long right, as you it make it through those floors with the last, you are getting those achievements. Interesting. I, I don't know if I realized that. I was hoping that was a fa that was how it was going to go because I've been thinking for a long time while playing this, how am I going to get the two achieve those two achievements? Yeah. When somehow I already got Mama's Boy, which is for doing uterus without taking any damage. Did you get the ones for I, uh, the chest and dark room? I have not yet. I okay. did not realize that, that they were one. <laughs> Thanks for that. Y yeah, th those actually are... I, I found for me those were the easiest ones because if if you make it to the chest or the dark room, you have one of two runs. One that is it's just so underpowered that it's probably not going to happen. Or the run mm -hmm. that is so overpowered you walk into a room and you're shooting like... 20 brimstone lasers all around because you have like brimstone and uh, monsters shot lung and, and you're just mm -hmm. like clearing out rooms in seconds and it's just like well nothing's going to touch me I'm just going to walk through this and then you yeah. get it and you're like oh right there, right okay there is one I'm actually curious then if that's the darkness boy achievement but I don't think it is mm, yeah, because I'll look it up I must have I must have got the, one of those achievements at least <clears throat> Uh, because based solely on my unlocks for this week. But we'll uh. have a look now and, and see what the Darkness Boy one is. Darkness Boy. Oh, it's not that. I'll, I'll keep looking. Okay. I forget exactly what it is. So, my unlocks this week, because I was crazy. <laughs> and if, if I'm going to do a run with the Lost, it's going to be a hard mode run. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's pointless doing it on normal. The, uh, yeah, like the you might as well the fail not conditions double are the, the same. Runs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and with the, with the lost as well, it's not a case of well, I'll get less health. It doesn't matter. The lost can't pick up health. Yeah, and consumables don't matter as much because you can fly. So yeah, so I figured why not give a give the lost you know hard runs a try. So I beat mom on hard with the lost mm -hmm. that unlocked O which had a little angel picture, so I'm wondering if that's another follower. It was literally just the letter O. I'll have to look that up. I don't remember what that is. <clears throat> I have no idea. 
Uh, the other achievement you were uh, talking about is Dark Boy. Beat Chapter 3 without taking damage. The one for... I didn't realize there was... The one for Chester Darkroom is the same achievement. It's called Dead Boy. So it just beat one or the other. Uh, oh, okay. Taking damage. I'm curious if I got that at some point. So this the chest, because that one's way easier than Dark Room. Uh, are you can keep going on. I'll, oh. I'll search while we're. Okay, so yeah, I unlocked O um, by beating Mom on hard with the Lost. I unlocked... Oh, that's a. Uh... Yeah, it's O Baby. It's one of the co-op babies that you and I will never see oh, because okay. co-op in Isaac isn't great. Yeah. I unlocked Isaac's heart by beating It Lives with the Lost, Boo! also on hard. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, you probably haven't run across Isaac's heart. That is, that is... I have not. Except for one very, very, very other specific item. It is the hottest of hot garbage. In Binding oh, of Isaac. wow. You would think that it would be good based on the name of it? You would think. So, do you want me to tell you how it works? Oh, yes. Go ahead. So, Isaac Hart, it, you are now invincible, but okay. your heart pops out of your body and follows you around as a familiar. That is the thing that gets damaged. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's... It's it's like the opposite of Lilith, because instead yeah. of having to fire two inches away off from you, you have to avoid damage two inches away from you. Or if it's like the seventh familiar you've picked up, it's like half the room away from you. Oh wow, that's gonna be bad considering how much I struggled with the the guillotine. Yes, it's the same idea. Sure. When it makes your head spin around. Yeah. Yeah. No, I will never be picking. It. Well, I pick it once. And there's only it. there's only one item, and I'll I'll leave you to figure out. Uh, you'll probably figure out the synergy uh, at some point, but there's one item that if you can get that and Isaac's heart, you are virtually unstoppable for the entire rest of the game. Hmm. Yeah. Food for thought. I'm <laughs> I'm assuming it must be an item that I have, I have already, possibly. Uh, I'll I'll look it up. Um, if I can remember what it's called, because <laughs> I I never pick it up, because I never pick up Mom's heart, and like the only reason to pick up either of those items is because you have the other one. Yeah. Oh, I I, I remember what it's called. Okay. Uh, unlock this item by beating Satan with Samson. So. No, uh, maybe uh, I honestly don't know. Satan, just regular haven't. Satan. So probably. It happens on a lot with Samson, despite how much I love his haircut and his Rambo attire. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Uh, he looks like Rambo. He, he really he does. He really does. Yeah. Which I think he was the 4th of July character as well, with his top hat on. Yeah, I think I he think was. Samson, yeah. I think he was the 4th of July guy, which made it perfect. Yeah. Uh, did it, uh, 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 apparently I... I beat Blue Baby with the Lost on hard mode. I don't know if that unlocked anything because literally all I've written is Blue Baby with Lost hard. Yeah, that unlocks so. the body. Okay, so I did unlock something. I just didn't bother writing down the body. Yeah, uh, you're running into some really powerful unlocks now. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know if you beat Boss Rush. Um, with Lost, no. Okay, that unlocks something that's really incredible. Um, but beating various bosses as the Lost, you unlock the mind, the body, and the soul, which are all yes. pretty great items. I feel like they're old enough now that they get a little bit undervalued by some people in the community, but they're still really solid utility items. Yeah, I think I've picked up the body before during a daily run, because yeah. I believe it's an angel room item. Yeah, and normal item room, I believe. Yeah, well, I've picked that up before. Didn't know what it did at the time, but it seemed to help me a lot. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, I don't know what it increased, but whether it was damage or something. But I felt a fair bit better after that. Yeah. I also decided to go and do an Eden run, because okay. I haven't played a whole lot of Eden. I've only done... <sighs> 
I've only done greed mode with Eden. I don't. I, it's a a negative thing for me in the way I play video games. If there is something that is limited, I never want to spend it. Right. I play Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. That game churns out the premium currency at a pretty good clip. Yeah. I save it and save it and save it, despite the fact that I should spend it because it's there to be spent. Right. I can't help it. I do the same in Marvel Puzzle Quest, which we'll get into in the actual main show. <laughs> I'm hoping you second. enjoyed our 30 minute discussion about that this yeah, week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's one of those things. So I see Eden tokens and I think I've only got 35. I'm not going to spend any of them. Yeah. Ever. Oh, now I've got 55. I need 100 before I spend any. Right. Oh, I've got 100. I need 200 before right. I think about it. Well, the great it's, part it's, about Eden now is. E- the Eden gets more fun the more items you have unlocked because you can. Eden's, the randomness increases. Yeah, and and the ch- the possibility of you starting the run with something that is just disgustingly overpowered increases. So, you mm-hmm. know, you can start a run with brimstone, and it's like, well, great, this is incredible, great. You know, you have brimstone and spoonbender as your two items. It's like, <laughs> all right, this is my lucky well, this day. This is an easy run. Yeah. Yeah. But I decided to to actually go ahead and I'm trying to get myself out of that mindset, like I said, where I if it, if it de- diminishes, I don't spend it. I'm trying right. to get myself out of that habit. So I played a, a run or two with Eden. I don't know what I started with. I can't remember because it didn't seem like anything special. But the damage sure was high because I was picking off the big spiders on the first floor with one hit. Nice. Wow. Yes. Always oh yeah, you start. don't play with the full HUD on because your your TV is a little wonky, right? Yes, right. right. Um, because it it crops off basically the edge of yeah, about probably about, about an inch skin. worth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, old TV. It will get sorted out eventually. Yeah. But yeah, I had a pretty good run with Eden because I also played on hard. Nice. And I beat Mom. Hey. I got undefined. Oh. I don't know. Oh man, I love Undefined. Hold on, let me look. Undefined. Okay. Undefined you is. You seem so excited about this. Oh god, Undefined is one of those items that every time I see it, I'm just like, I, I shouldn't pick it up. It's gonna ruin my run, and it's gonna. Whoops, I picked it up. Okay, here we go. Things are gonna get crazy. <laughs> it just. Oh, it's. It's so weird. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you experiment with it. You're safe. You'll you'll figure out what it does pretty quickly, but. I. Okay. I really love Undefined. Have you, by the way, speaking of Undefined, have you gotten the I Am Error rooms in any of your runs before? Yes. Okay. I have had it twice, I believe. Yeah. And one of the times I had it, uh, I had it on a floor where I had a bunch of stuff to collect and I was literally just walking around trying to, this was before I was doing the mad dash to the exit, went back when I was taking my time. Yeah. I was trying to find the secret rooms. Walked into a secret room, couldn't walk out of the secret room, didn't have any <laughs> teleportation out of the secret room, just had the error guy sitting there and a hole in the floor. Yeah. I was not happy because I left behind some goodies yeah. that I could have done. Like a white heart, for example, Oof. which I deliberately leave to pick up till last because then it means if I take any damage, I'm not losing that additional health. Yeah, sometimes eternal hearts are interesting because... Sometimes I will use it as like that little bit of shielding. Where it's like, okay, I only mm-hmm. have one heart. And I might not make it through this floor, but at least I'll take I'll take this eternal heart and have like one hit's worth of shielding and then I know it's not the way you're supposed yeah. to use it, but sometimes it's oh, something no, that it, keeps I mean, you alive. Yeah, if it helps, it helps, yeah. you know. Especially on floors like the womb where it's one full heart. Yeah, man. For damage, you know, that's the worst. That's why the wafer's so good. I don't know if you have that oh, unlocked. I believe I have. Is that the thing that reduces all damage? So even on utero, it takes half a heart yep. instead of one. You start off with okay. it uh, unlocked. I just looked. Yeah, I really do like the wafer. After defeating Mom with Eden, I went to It Lives. And I beat It Lives on nice. hard with Eden, which nice. got me Glitch Baby. <laughs> glitch Baby. <laughs> it's... <laughs> These babies, man. It, I feel like some of the, I feel like they leave some of the babies for some of the hardest stuff, and you're like, all right, 
I'm gonna beat Blue Baby, and I'm gonna get an unlock, and son of it's another co-op baby. Come on. <laughs> oh, is that what is that what, what glitch baby is? Yeah, let me look it up. But I'm I'm fairly sure almost any time that um, they don't even list babies on this site. Um, anytime something ends up with baby, it's uh, usually just oh, one of those co-op ones. Okay, so never get to see that thing, I guess. Yeah. In the process of doing that, I missed the boss rush. I did, however, get Hush. Hey. Eden's Blessing. I beat Hush on hard with Eden. So you got Eden's Blessing? Yes. Oh, Eden's Blessing is so good. Oh, man. So this one's confusing, so I'll, I, it took me a while to figure this one out. So Okay. You. It looks like a white rose, almost. Uh, yes, like the like the black thing, like l Lily's tu Lily's tulip or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. Like the inverse version of that. Um, when you pick it up, it gives you a tears upgrade. That's actually pretty good. But what it does is, next time for the next run you start, you start with a free item. What? Hold on. Yeah, and it doesn't matter who you pick. Like you can just go pick the lost as an example like you pick up eden's blessing on the first run you start another character you just start off with like you were playing eden you start off with a free yes. item so if you start off that's if you play eden you start off with three items you start as anybody else you get a free item that's really awesome yeah and it's from any pool Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. yeah i may have to definitely keep an eye out for eden's blessing then yeah after defeating Hush, I decided why not go up to chest. I defeated Isaac with Eden on hard mode. Mm. That got me the blank card. <laughs> oh, blank card. Blank card. I don't know what that does. Blank card is so good. Um, I honestly have no idea what that does. Have you picked it up before? Mm, I think I've had it on dailies, but never figured out what it is. So it... When you're carrying a card and you use blank card, it basically use it's a, it duplicates the card that you're holding. So if you if you're holding the what? Hierophant, it what? you use it and it yeah, gives you the, the two first, spirit hearts. That's the first thing that occurred to me. So yeah. I mean how many how many is it to charge it? Four, I believe. Okay, so you hold the Hierophant, you hold the blank card, you've got a full charge, you use the blank card get your two hearts, go clear four rooms, use the blank card, get yep. an additional two hearts. Oh, wow. Yep. It's really good. <laughs> Note to self, pay more attention to the blank card. I have also received um, a card against humanity on the day, <laughs> the daily runs. Yeah. I used it in the shop. It covered the entire shop in poop. That's all it does. <laughs> <laughs> There's one... Oh, how do you do that? There's one way... I don't I think it's when you have um God, what is that item that is a gold bar? Um The Midas Touch. Midas Touch, yeah. If I remember correctly, if you have Midas Touch and you use uh card against humanity, they're all golden poop. Well, well, well Don't quote wow. me on that, because I've never done it, but I I've seen that on the subreddit in a number of times. Um, that's pretty incredible. That's like rare enough I've never been able to have that happen. Yeah. I, did, I wasn't exactly satisfied with uh, beating Isaac in the chest arm, so I defeated Isaac. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not going to go near your chest, Isaac. Right. I'm going to back out. I'm going to head back to the main rune, and I'm going to use this dad's key I've got. Oh, no. And give Mega Satan on hard mode with Eden yes. a shot. Yes. And I trounced Mega Satan like he was nothing. Amazing. With Eden on hard mode, and I unlocked the yellow baby. <laughs> See, like, that's what I'm talking about, where it's just like, I did this incredibly hard, son. Come on. <laughs> I also got Mysterious Paper. Mysterious Paper. Paper. I don't know. Oh, that's a trinket. Uh... Yeah, I don't. I guess I never knew what that did until I just I looked know. it up right now. 
<laughs> imitates the behaviors of some of the other paper items slash trinkets. It's like missing page, oh, Polaroid negative, contract missing poster. Mobile. Yeah. Interesting. I never knew what that did. Oh, interesting. But yes, I have another Mega Satan hard mode check mark nice. on my on my box. It's actually kind of interesting because if you look at my Lost and Eden uh, post-it notes, I've done nothing with them except hard mode stuff. <laughs> yeah. So it's like I haven't done the dark run or Mega Satan with the Lost. So it's right. like this weird eye with a little pointy sticky out bit yeah. of red red post-its. And I haven't done the same for Eden, so it's the exact same thing. It's just like empty spots where the normal one should be. Yeah. <clears throat> but as you can tell, a very productive week. Yeah. Which all of that happened in like one day. <laughs> it's one of those one of those ones where you're just getting winning run after winning run. You're like, I'm the best Isaac player on the planet. This is amazing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, the reason why I took the risk on Mega Satan with Eden was because I. I fandangled my Satan rewards. I I ended up picking up Brimstone after I uh, had Abaddon. Right. But the Abad I picked up the it was literally it was Abaddon and Brimstone right next to each other in this room. A perfect combination. Yeah. Picked them up in the wrong order. Should have picked <sighs> up. Yeah. I should should have picked up the other one first. But picking up the Abaddon gave me the Leviathan. Transformation, oh, right, right, and then that gave me brimstone after the fact. Yeah, and I don't know what happened in that big mix-up there, but in doing so, I ended up with a tri-laser brimstone effect. Where? Wow, really? It came out. I don't know if if, if it was something else I picked up. I don't know what happened, but it's like I turned into having the three tiers. And because I had the three tiers when I picked up Brimstone, I was literally firing out, like, an arrow pointing directly towards my character. Huh. And it was just a case of everything is dead from this point. Because I now have three Brimstones who also had the chocolate milk effect. Oh, wow. So things got real interesting real quick. Yeah, I... Yeah, I wonder what else you picked up. Because um, all that... Uh... Leviathan is supposed to give you is flight and two black hearts. Um, Weird. Yeah, that's that's strange. I must have got something else because all of I went into the I went into the room, not having the tri shot, and then I came out of the room having the tri shot. So unless I picked up two transformations at once and it, hmm, you know, it only showed me the Leviathan one. But I yeah. wasn't complaining. I was perfectly happy. Because, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Three brimstones. I, I my immediate approach was okay, Mega Satan. Let's give this a go. <laughs> yeah. Shall we see how things go? Yeah, I mean that's that's your best opportunity. Yeah. Well, yeah, that is my progress this week. Man, very pleased with it. If I'm honest. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I mean, it's it's hard to figure out a way that that week could have gone any better, especially doing something like Mega Satan and the Lost. I mean, you're 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 tackling some of the hardest stuff in there, other than the keeper. Mm-hmm. You know. Yep. And you got two more so, Eden tokens because you finished the game. Yay! <laughs> Alright, well that's our episode this week. Thank you very much. We have a like a, an ultra-sized successful episode. Uh, thank you mm-hmm. very much everyone for listening and thank you Moonpeer for joining me once again in our adventures in the basement. Thank you. I like the new bed we've got down here. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see you everyone next week. Bye. Thanks for watching the video everyone. Bye. Thank you.